Hi guys, hope you're all well. So I thought I'd do a haul video today. It's been a little while since I've done one and I've got quite a few packages that have been kicking around, saved up um, over the last few weeks and they've built up. So I think it's time to open some of these. And there's a variety of different things here. There's some new stuff. There's some a lot of old stuff that's been on my wish list for quite a while. Uh, we sold some stuff and we've decided to use that money to buy some other stuff. Stuff that I really wanted, rather than some of the larger new sets that LEGO were bringing out because they're just getting so expensive. And I'm far more interested in the old classic 80s, early 90s stuff. So I think we've got Space, Castle, Pirates and Town classic sets covered here. Plus, like I say, a couple of Amazon boxes at the bottom there. That's new stuff. So I'm going to go through these one by one quite quickly. We'll open them up on camera. Have a look what's inside. I can't remember which ones are which, to be honest. Um, but let's start with the small one first, and then we'll go through them all from there. Okay, so this is our first package. Nice wrapped up in a little uh, cereal box. Got the scissors, so just bear with me. We'll just try and chop into this. Find out what's inside. And get rid of that. Absolutely smashed up with sellotape. So here's our first little thing, um, it's a classic, I think this is 1987, 6676, I think this is called the Police Mobile Centre or something along those lines. I'll do reviews of all of these eventually guys, separate reviews, but it's a set I had when I was a kid, it was pretty cheap. I noticed the stickers looked to be pretty well applied on all of them. You're going to get a bit of yellow in sometimes on this old white Lego, but too many figures in there. They look pretty good. There should be a sticker inside. I don't know if you can quite see that without me opening it up. I'll have a quick look. It's like a map of the town. And this whole top bit opens up. There we go. Uh, these have got stickers on. And they're nicely applied as well, so all good. Like I say, we'll do proper reviews on these once we get a chance. That's our first set. Stay tuned because there may be something else to go with this. It's a loose set. I did order a box. I'm hoping that's with this. The box was super cheap. So there's the first one. Let's open the next one. So here's our next box. Uh, looks like it's pretty nicely packaged. This will be a small... Classic set, I'm hoping. I'm not going to start going through who all the sellers were, but these are all eBay purchases. And they were all, almost all, best offer or offers that people had offered to me. So, nicely packed, well done. Do get some nightmares sometimes on eBay. We don't pack things properly, but this has been packaged really well. Lots of bubble wrap. And then cardboard as well, which is great. Sometimes you get some horror shows where they just put it in a box and expect it's gonna survive with no packaging whatsoever. So always grateful to sellers. And just reveal this one, there we go. So this is an Emtron set from 1990, 6833. Um, box looks pretty good. Did have this set, but I didn't have one boxed. So, one of the Emtron sets I didn't have boxed. So, that's that one. Maybe another Emtron set to come, so stay tuned. Okay, let's carry on quickly going through these. Uh, another one, ooh, special delivery. Very, very good. Don't generally like it when they put things special delivery. It's not necessary unless it's something particularly valuable and expensive. Uh, it does mean it gets here quicker, but I mean, these have been sitting around, so. A huge big deal. I'm just pulling this out. Again, nicely wrapped up. 
awesome stuff. Uh, this is a Lego Pirate set from the first year of release, 1989. 6260. I think this is called like the Pirates Castaway Island or something like that. Again, we'll do a separate review for this. Box has held its shape pretty well. A little bit of wear up here. But for a what now 33 year old set pretty good i'm hoping it's all in there bit of tape on there oh more bubble wrap inside there as well great but should be a complete set look out for a review of this one again add it to my 1989 pirates collection um yeah that looks really nice so happy to have this one let's have a look at the next one Another nicely wrapped box. I'm going to open this one off camera and come back to you in a second because it looks like it could be a bit of a pain to open. But I'll come back in just a second and we'll get this just opened a bit. Okay, so we've got all that outer rubbish off and it's just a Clark's... Looks like a kid's shoe box. So let's get rid of some of this tape. And I should be able to just open this. Whoops, not my tripod. And inside, oh, beautiful wraps with lots and lots of bubble wrap. Very well wrapped up. I'm getting to it eventually. Is a box and it's the box for the police set we got earlier on and this box is really really nice apart from just a bit of damage at the end I didn't know about this I've been trying to find a box for a long time couldn't find a box one of that set so I bought the box separately and that's pretty much what I paid for it uh, lovely old Woolworth sticker Woolworth says a blast from the past but other than that this box looks really 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 nice just a shame about that kid back in the day obviously ripped into it but yeah there's a quick sneak preview we'll get that paired up with a little set and um, that will be another one we'll do a review on very very soon okay now we're getting again to the good stuff okay this is another set that's been on my wish list for a long long time Never been able to find one the right price and boxed, so I'll just get rid of all of that rubbish. And here we go. This is 6057. It's a castle set I've been looking for for a long, long time. 1993, I think. 1992, apologies. Uh, it's the same year that the big uh, Black Knight's Castle, that wonderful Black Knight's Castle set came out, which I don't have yet, I would love to own, but this is another one that I really wanted. It's called the Sea Serpent, I believe. Love boats, love any Lego ships. Five minifigures with this, which is brilliant. Loads of lovely shields and decorations and a nice sail in here. Box is a little bit bashed, crease but again like i say i've been trying to find one for a long time this is the best one i could find it's okay it's not too bad but it's my set i'll have to go through and make sure it's all there and we'll build up and again we'll do another review of this one as well but lovely set really happy to have this one next one all wrapped up in black plastic again i'm gonna just again off camera take this off and then we'll get to the box inside it looks like it could be another shoe box and I'll show you what's inside this one. Okay, so all that reveals there is another Amazon box. Always reuse your boxes, guys, if you can. Don't ever buy boxes if you've got boxes lying around. You're going to package things up, send them to people. I'll keep knocking my tripod. Everything so far has been really well wrapped up. And again, more bubble wrap inside. And get rid of all of that. Lovely note on the front. Thanks for buying my Lego. I hope you get hours of fun from it. Sure we will. Let's chop into this. And I've even wrapped it up with paper. How nice is that? 
get rid of all of this. And what we got is another Emtron set. So this was the last of the larger, I say larger, it's more of a medium sized set, boxed Emtron sets I didn't have. So it's six, eight, nine, six. I think it's called like the Celestial Forager or something like that. Um, this box looks really, really good. Really nice. Bit of creasing, but you know, these are 32 years old now, these sets. So I'm hoping it's all there. But again, bubble wrap inside, absolutely fantastic packaging. Thank you so much to everybody who's packaged these up for me. I'm not gonna tell you what the names are, but everything so far has been brilliant, which is great to see. Love this artwork, love this Emtron logo. Beautiful, clean box front. Look at that, there's not a mark on it or a crease on it hardly. So that is excellent. Really happy with that one. Just a little uh, daft little sticker on the side there. I don't see these very often actually. There you go. So that's every Emtron set now we've got boxed, apart from the uh, 1991 very tiny set that came in that uh, like five pack. I'll try and find a copy of it at some point, probably a loose copy. And the uh, the special um, instructions I don't have because they're just phenomenally expensive now. But that's all seven Emtron sets from the 1990 wave boxed. So we'll get them all out again. I'll review this one separately. And then we'll probably get them all out at some point and show you all of them. Okay, there's a couple more, a couple of Amazon um, orders. Both new things in these Amazon boxes. Just again, things that they uh, really wanted. And this box has in it a couple of things, I believe. Another speed champion. I did start collecting these eight wide speed champions because they're a really good investment. And as soon as they retire, the price goes up crazily. Nick there, that's a bit annoying, but it's typical of Amazon. Crease there. They just sling it in a box with a bit of paper. But there we go. This is the Lotus Avija. The one that looks nothing like the Lotus Avija. There's probably a picture of the actual car here somewhere. There we go. That's what the car looks like and this is what the lego model looks like but still a really nice looking model this yellow stripe around here looks horrible but i'm not going to build it it's just going to get put away it's another speed champion set so that's that one and then get rid of that box these are cheap and cheerful knockoff seconds not seconds, knockoff, cheap company, grey base plates. And the reason I bought these is because they're just going to go around under the track, the train track on the other side of the row, of the layout. And you won't even see them. And it's just to basically just raise the track up to the, re the level of everything else. So I'm not bothered that not real Lego. These were really, really cheap. And there's six in here. So they will do the job. They're exactly the same size, 32 by 32 studs. Really not well made, but we do the job. And we've got one more. And it's another Amazon one. Dig out my knife, rather than using these fairly blunt scissors to open everything. There we go. Two things in here. Grab these and get rid of this box. Okay, so we've got a couple of Avatar sets. These are Avatar sets from the 19, sorry, the 2009 movie. And they've got crazily long names. So this one is uh, Neytiri and Thanator versus the AMP suit Quaritch. Quaritch being Colonel Miles Quaritch, which is really awesome because that's a Stephen Lang minifigure. And I like the actor Stephen Lang. I think he's really, really cool. But just looking at these sets, they just intrigue me. The pieces that are in these. It's almost like the uh, some of the, the Disney sets have all these amazing pieces in there. Just wonderful colours. And you get a, me a nice looking mech. 
and this, but again, they're not going to be built. These are just going to be put away. It intrigues me, Avatar. It could be one of those themes that does really well. These could retire fairly quickly, and then they could shoot up in value. So that's why I bought them, and these were hugely discounted on Amazon. I think this one was at least 30% off, and the other one I'm going to show you in a minute was, I think, 40% off. This is a bit creepy. I don't really like that very much, but again, oops, just some fantastic pieces in here. And this could either do really, really well, or it could be a massive flop, the new movie, in which case these sets won't do very well either. But these are based on the first movie. The new Avatar movie comes out in December, and the sets for that movie release on the 1st of January. Just move that back. So see the two, the other set. There's four sets out at the moment for this movie, the first movie. Just got the two smaller ones. This one's called Jake and Nateri's First Banshee Flight. And you get two of these banshees, huge bird type creatures. If you've seen the movie, it's a long time since I've seen it. I'll probably have to watch it again. You'll know what they are. It looks like you get a very small side build. And again, just two minifigures. And these are these long leg minifigures with long arms as well and weird noses and little side build again but they're quite big so yeah they just intrigued me the avatar sets thought i'd pick a couple of those up I may get some more I may even pick up the new ones when they come out um but yeah nice looking sets and again like i say i think that was 40 percent off on amazon i think it still is and i think this one's still 30 percent off on amazon so, if you want to pick up Avatar sets, get on Amazon now and get them. There we go, that's my little haul. Quite a big haul for me, actually. Um, but I don't do these very often, so... Really excited about this. And, and obviously these. That's the stuff I'm really passionate about, the older stuff. Really looking forward to building this up. I'll have to go through all these, check they're all there. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. Some newer stuff as well for everybody. Um, do another haul hopefully very very soon please look out for another city update probably next weekend no it's not gonna be this weekend and i'll try and get some of these built up checked and um, we'll do some classic reviews soon there's still some more classic sets to go through as well might have noticed across in the corner there's some yellow duplo next to my cup of tea that's been sitting there a while that's to reinforce rock faces upstairs so we'll get build in but in the meantime Hope you enjoyed that. Whatever you're doing the rest of the weekend, have a fantastic weekend, guys, and I'll see you all very, very soon.